वेलकम टू बी एम सी हेलेक्स रेमडी फोर्स वेबिनार माई नेम इज शत्रुघ्न महातो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एडवांस सी एम डी बी कॉन्फिग्रेशन इफ देर आर एनी क्वेश्चन प्लीज पुट दो चैट विंडो एंड विल आंसर दो लेट्स रिव्यू दी टूडेज एजेंडा सो टूडे वील गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन about the advanced cmdb features and the configuration of advanced cmdb features some troubleshooting common issues let's start cmdb store asset and configuration item data and relationship primary goal to track manage cis relations and impact on business service we will provide an overview of advanced cmd configuration in bmc helix remedy force like first one is cmdb lookup filters configuration class permissions normalization rules reconciliation rule and tracking attribute history let's review one by one and we'll show you demo for each configuration configuring cmdb lookup filters lookup filters simplify data entry and prevent inconsistent data due to incorrect manual entry you can configure lookup filters for cmdb ci and asset classes similar to lookup filters configure for remedy force console on incident problem task change request and release these settings are available at below locations remedy force administration tab configure cmdb 2.0 and then select the cmdb lookup filters let's move to the demo for lookup filters once you are logged into the remedy force org uh, click on remedy force administration configure select configure cmdb 2.0 and select the cmdb lookup filters on the cmd form we need to click on new and in the class type we need to select asset and the class name as laptop here and the filter for model name and filter type as optional click on save oh we need to select the class name so we need to select the cmdb class name here cmdb class name equals value as bmc laptop and click on add and save the lookup filter criteria now we can able to save the lookup filter successfully to verify this we need to navigate to the remedy for cmdb tab and then we need to select the laptop class from here okay and let's see this one in the model we have the created the lookup filter so let's see what it display here we go it is only showing all the uh, models which is having a class name as bmc laptop so if we click on show all results it will show all the records of different classes so this concludes configuring cmdb lookup filters configuring class permissions in the earlier versions if you granted read create 
edit access on the base element object through a profile or permission set, then the same access was granted on all the CMDB classes. You could not modify the access permissions for only certain classes. Thus, there was inheritance of access permissions from the base element object to all the CMDP classes. These settings is available at below locations, Ribbon Diffuse Administration tab, Configurator CMDB 2.0 and the class permissions. Let's look the demo. So we're closing this. So once we are in Remedy for SOG, we need to click on Remedy for Administration tab and the configure CMDB and the class permissions. Once this page is loaded, then you can see one toggle button. We need to enable this toggle button and this is the warning message. You need to click on OK. This is this class permissions are enabled now. In the left hand side, we can see all the permission sets which are available in this org. So the records, uh, we can give access to the class based on the permission sets. So I will check for remedy for star permission set. And here uh, for computer class, let's see if I have any record. Yeah, so computer class, we uh, if we remove the create, edit and delete options, let's see how it goes for the service staff permission sets. So here I have given only the read permissions on the computer system class and no edit, create and delete permissions. So click on save. To verify this, I'm logging with a different staff user and then we'll verify this. Class permissions is applied successfully or not. So the CMDB for CMD tab is loaded. Now I will check for computer system class for which I have given the read permission. So here we can see the there are two records for computer system class and this is I only have the read permissions here. I will not able to modify or delete any existing record from here. On the other hand, if I go back to the remedy force, uh, uh, go back to the remedy force admin profile, and then I will check for the computer system class, I can see the new button. I can create a new record. I can edit the existing record. You can see save clone. This did, uh, form buttons are enabled now. The delete button edit buttons are enabled. This concludes CMDB class permissions. Configuring normalization rules. Normalization enables system administrator to standardize data in BMC Remedy Force CMDB and the model repository. This process is especially crucial when data is imported on an ongoing basis from external sources such as spreadsheets, discovery tools, or other asset management and CMDB tools. For the same attributes, value imported from different sources could be in different format. Reporting on such inconsistent data is often a challenge. To resolve this issue, you can create and apply rules to normalize different values with a standard values. These settings is available at below locations, Remedy Force uh, Administration tab, then configure CMDB 2.0 and the normalization rules. Let's see the demo.
once we are in the remedy force we need to move to remedy force administrations select configure cmdb and here we need to select normalization rules once we are on the normalization rules page we need to click on new and we need to select the object name is the base element field name will be selecting manufacturer name here rules type normalization normalization value is bmc software india private limited and the field value contents pmc word in it click on add now save the normalization rules okay this rule is saved now so before applying to the records we need to go to general cmdb settings and we have to run the job normalization rule job frequency here and other settings here we go so schedule normalization rule section so process normalization rule every one minute or based on your records we can change this so i am just giving one minute as my uh, records are low and this job is already running so i'm just starting it back click on save this is enable now now to verify this we need to go to remedy for cmdb and manufacturer name here we need to give bmc us let's see how what it will change so to track the job we can navigate to setup and see if that job runs or not and then after we verify this record again to jobs schedule jobs we can see all the jobs which are running or which is going to run utility job So we can see that the job is run completed now. Normalization processor job. Now we can verify this is the record where we have given the manufacturer name as BMC USA. You can see the normalization has done and the value of the manufacturer name has changed to BMC Software India Private Limited based on the rules. This concludes the normalization process. Configuring reconciliation rules. We can use the reconciliations feature to achieve the following goals. Merge information from different data sources with multiple data sources to add CIs and assets to your CMDB. 
you might get different data related to one record if you enable and configure reconciliation you can merge information about a ci or asset therefore reconciliations enables you to make your remedy for cmdb data consistent avoid duplication of informations with multiple data sources your risk data duplication view reconciliation report you can view the reconciliation report to find out records that successfully reconciled and records that failed to reconcile so that you can track corrective measures reconciler does not address existing duplicate records within our cmdb however it handles any incoming records once reconciliation is enabled a rule is defined and activated the reconciliation rule settings is present at below locations remedy force administration tab then configure cmdb 2.0 and the reconciliations rule let's see the deck once you are logged into the remedy force uh, click on remedy force administration then select configure cmdb 2.0 and here we have reconciliation once we are in the reconciliation form, we need to click on new and we need to give the name of the reconciliation rule demo 2. Select the class, it could be CI or asset based on your requirement. I'm selecting printer class, selecting asset number and serial number. It will be R and click on save. The reconciliations rule is saved now. Now we go back and we need to enable the reconciliation service from here. Once it is done, the reconciliation service is enabled. Now we will prepare, a, we'll try to insert some record in Remedy 4 CMDB printer class. So at present in our printer class, we have three records. So we'll try to insert this record. The first one, 06500 and 07000. We'll try to insert this record and uh, another new record. So I have already prepared a CSV file for this one. So these two records are already there and this is a new record. So it should update the first two record, the existing record and it will insert Xerox 8000 because Xerox 8000 is not available here. So we'll do this insert through data loader. Click on insert, select the base element object, select the CSV file. So let's close this file, click on next, OK, do the mapping, click on OK, click on next, yes, finish. We can see that import from the data loader is successful and it has created a new record Xerox 8000. However, it has updated the existing two records Xerox 6500 and Xerox 7000. You can see it in the description we have. Yes, we have put this import one. This concludes uh, CMDB reconciliations track attribute history tracking changes to specific attributes of an asset or configuration item is critical to users not only do they need to know what changes were made but also who made the changes and when so this is the settings in the cmdb where we can track the attribute history and the settings is located at below location. 
cmdv for ca administration tab configure cmdv 2.0 and the track history attribute history let's move to the demo part Once you are remedy force administration tab, select configure CMDB2 and track attribute history. Here we need to check this checkbox and select the class for which we need uh, to enable So here we can select computer class computer system and we have sell we can select description and we can also select priority so here we have selected computer system class for tracking and we have enabled tracking for description and priority field now click on save now navigate to remedy for CMDB and search for computer system class here. Now if I try to change the value of the description field like Xerox imported for demo purpose and we'll change the priority to P5 and then save it. It has updated now. Now, if you want to see the old values and what are the values, you need to go to details tab and here go to auditing. Here we can see the date and what is the new value old value till now new value is priority 5 and this is the description value has been changed so here we can see the tracking history this concludes track attribute history so this is the demo we have completed till now configure cmdb lookup filters class permissions normalization rules reconciliation rule and track attribute history. Troubleshooting guides. BMC does have some troubleshooting guides. You can search by product remedy force and navigate to troubleshooting as shown in the image. Troubleshooting common issues. Problem. The following errors are generated during the normalization process. Too many queryable jobs added to the queue. Too many DML rows. Thousand. Cause high number of records. Solution. We must reduce the number of records that the normalization job processes in each batch. By default, the batch size in a normalization job is 100. If you want to change the settings of batch size, you can navigate to the below location. Remedy Force Administration tab. Application settings, custom settings, remedy for settings, and create a new custom settings. Problem 2 You receive the following error BMC service update base element name execution of before insert caused by system.query execution, non selective query against large object type, more than 2 lakhs rows. Consider an index filter or contact salesforce.com about custom indexing. Cause a large number of records in MD4 CMDB. That is more than 2 lakhs records. Solution. To resolve this issue, contact salesforce to create custom indexes on the fields that you have used in reconciliation rules. References. These are the references URL that you can check about CMDB advanced configurations. Summary. This is the summary of the today's webinar. We have configured CMDB lookup filters, 
class permissions, normalizations rule, reconciliation rules, and finally track attribute history. Remember, this webinar will be available in our YouTube channel. If you have additional questions, feel free to contact our technical support team by web, phone or email. Please follow us in our social media accounts through BMC Community, Facebook and Twitter. I hope this webinar was helpful and thanks for attending this webinar about advanced CMDB configuration.